Hello guys, I'm Sam Sinamuko. So in this tutorial, I'll be going through a rundown of how to make use of the new Apollo client feature for local state management in your React app. So if you've had some experience before in using a state management library like Redux, you'd bear with me, you probably agree with me that using Redux is more easy, it's easier using Redux than using Apollo client to manage your local state. Mm. And because of this house, you might even consider making use of Redux or state management and just using the Apollo client for your GraphQL queries in your app and this increases your bundle size. But um, the good news is that in the new Apollo client updates, there's a new feature that was implemented. And the name of this feature is called reactive variables. So reactive variables makes state management to be so easy. I mean, with the reactive variables, you don't need to make use of Redux to handle your state, or you can't even forget about making use of the Apollo cache for state management. Mm. Let's take a look at how a simple example of how to make use of this Apollo client. But before that, let me throw some light, some context on these reactive variables. So reactive variables actually allow you to read and write data in your application without the use of anywhere in your application without the use of a GraphQL query. The active variable is, is not stored in your Apollo cache, so you don't need to bother about data normalization. You don't need to bother about the normalization of data. So due to that, you are free to read and write data anyhow, anywhere you like in your app. So this is the basic syntax. To use it, all you have to do, let me get this pen. So all you have to do is to import the makeVar function from the Apollo client library. And we're going to instantiate uh, the state you want to provision to create a, a to-do state. So we're going to instantiate this to-do variable with a call to the makeVar function. And to create our states, okay, so in this here, we're just creating an empty array as our current state. To print out what our state is, all we have to do is to console.log to do and it returns an empty array. So as you can see, this is just our current array, our current state, I mean. Our current state is an empty array. Now to write in a new set of data to your state, your to-do state, all you have to do is just make a call to your to-dos and use then use the data value as the argument to this to do so here we are using code movies and its array as our state so we're writing this array now into our current state if you want to see what your current state is just make a call log out to do's and you see to return the code movies and its it's quite easy i mean it's quite simplistic than making use of the apollo cache for honey state locally so what are the objectives of this tutorial? Uh, we have learning state management handling using the Apollo client. Yep. Learning how to use the reactive variables using Redux state management pattern by creating a reducer that integrates with the reactive variables. So what do I mean by this? If you've used Redux, Redux has a methodology of using what is called a reducer. So a reducer is more or less a function, a conditional function that defines how data is being read, written, to, how data is being written to your state. So we're going to try and implement this, this method in the reactive variables. And just for you to know, this method isn't something that was written in documentation. I just find it easier to use when you have a huge app that has lots of shared state. So you might as well consider this an easier way of using the active variables. So we're going to solidify this by this tutorial by building a to-do app. Mm. So this is what the app looks like. This is, a, this is a preview. We have the mobile view here and we have the desktop view. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here are my social media handles to follow me. I have my LinkedIn, my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and my blog swagblooms.com all right so let's get building guys let's get you